Good morning, my name is Chad Evans with Saratech. I'm one of the engineers here, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about technical data package. So we've actually had a few questions come in lately. What is technical data package? So you can see here under the PMI, so if I come into the application and under my toolbox, you can see I've got PMI checked, but normally if it was right installed out of the box, you can see it is not checked. So that is where I would have to go back in, select my PMI to get my PMI tab, or if I, I'll come up here and if I right click and you can see PMI here and it's not checked, that's where you can also check it. Okay, so here I'll go over to my PMI. So you can see under my PMI, we've got a technical data package here. And if I put my cursor right on top of it, it spells it out, technical data package. And uh, I'm currently using the 1926 version of NX, but before this version, it was just one icon. What they did is they split it up. So either creating your templates, so you can see here, I could come in here and I could create my different templates if I wanted to, modify them, et cetera, how, how I may want them. So you can see here, I've got assemblies, I've got assemblies with portrait, landscape. Uh, what I mean by landscape or portrait is just orientation. Same with my part. Okay, so there's, there's different ways of doing this. You can also see I've got millimeters, I've got inches. So it gives you both options there. But what I wanna get into is the publish. So the publish is the technical data package where I wanna just create a 3D PDF. And that is where I am just going to create a 3D, kind of a, an Adobe PDF uh, sheet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to input a bunch of views into my PDF. And if you notice there, I've got another option there for JT. So JT Plus, where it's going to embed a JT viewer inside the PDF. Okay, but for right now, let's just do the 3D PDF. And you can see here, I've got similar to the similar templates that I had before. And if I just want, I've got a single part here. So let's just look at my part. And if you notice, I've got my kind of my preview that's showing me. So if I put my cursor on top of it, either I want to go landscape or if I want to go portrait, let's just select the landscape one. That looks good. Now I can come down here. What views do I want to select? Okay. I want to select them where I could just say all views if I wanted to. But I'm going to come over here, hold down my shift key, and I'm going to pick my individual models that I want or my individual views that I may want to include into my PDF form. So you can see here, I've got seven views selected. I didn't select all of them because if I, if I came over here, let's cancel out of here, I can go back and see, hey, which ones do I want to include in my PDF? So I can see each one of my views has PMI data in it but I may not want to include, like the left, there's no PMI data in there, so I may, may not want to include that. But my right side, I do have a measurement in there. And then my top, yep, my top, I've got some measurements, and my isometric, I don't. Okay, well, that's fine. So let's go ahead and go back to publish. We'll say technical data, my 3D PDF. Let's see what are my views. So let's go ahead and let's just pick them all. I can just pick the first one, hold down my shift key, or hold down my shift key, select the last view. Now I've got all nine views this time. Where's my input where I want that to be? I was currently putting into a demo test directory that I currently have set up on my on my desktop. Uh, it looks like I already ran this once. Yes, I want to replace it because before I think I did a quick little test beforehand. I just ran them a couple of views. Okay. Uh, if I here also, I want to show you this was an enhancement that came out, I think, in 1847 with uh, color override. So if I had a background here of black and maybe my dimensions were red, uh, that would look kind of funny in my PDF. It might not print very well. So this is where I could have an override where my background is white and my PMI dimensions are black. OK, but I don't need the override because that is currently what I'm set up for. OK, I can come in here select my attachments if I had any attachments in there. Uh, and then I can say, let's see, select my views. Oh, it unselected my landscape. I knew it was something because it wasn't giving me my okay. So remember, I want to say okay to that. Uh, also, I want to mention here too, I have a password. I can put a password protection on here if I wanted to. 
Let's say okay to this. It's gonna go ahead and you can see down below on my toolbar, it is processing. Okay, it's opening up my, my PDF here. So you can see there's my PDF. Now, if I wanted to come in here and look at my individuals, okay, there's my individual models. It looks pretty nice. I can scroll over. There's my symmetric. Okay. If I want to put in some notes in here, I could just right click on this, add some text. And let's go in here and say, let's make it a little bit larger. Okay. Let's see. This is a test part for the new caliper. Okay. Not too bad. Uh, even up above, if I wanted to put some part numbers, text, revision, who the designer was, I have that option. So during the uh, publish option, there is a text box. So I forgot to put that in, but it gives you an option to do that. Okay. So I just wanted to show you a couple things, but there it is. There's my my PDF, and you can notice if I if I come in here, I can actually zoom up on it, but it is a nice image within my PDF. And similar to the JT Viewer Plus, it's going to be very similar to this, but my 3D model may be on my right-hand side. And it kind of gives us an option. So if I want to send this to a customer for bidding, maybe somebody doesn't have NX, uh, maybe they got a different CAD system, this is one way of sending some data over to them. So there is an add-on module. So if you do want to add this on, it is NX30186. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.